Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Alibaba Cloud Academy online public course. Today, our topic is SSL certification service. In this public course, we will talk about what is SSL certification and what is the basic working mechanism to be using the SSL to encrypt your internet communication. And at the very end, we will give you a demo on the console about what's the difference kind of the products we are selling on Alibaba Cloud and what will be your best choice to fit into your business needs. What is a SSL or we call them the transport layer uh, security certification? Actually, it's a protocol to make the internet transaction much safer. So usually it is a standard security product for establishing encrypted links between a web server and a browser in an online communication. So the usage of SSL technology ensures that all the data transmitted between the web server and the browser remains encrypted. The certification itself actually are data files that are bind a cryptographic key to the details of an organization. So when the certification is installed on the web server, it enables a secure connection between the web server and the browser that connects to it. The website URL is prefixed with uh, HTTPS instead of HTTP. And generally speaking, you will see a kind of a lock style pattern uh, is shown on the address bar. If the website uses uh, even more secure uh, certification like uh, extended validation, we call them a EV certification, then the browser may also show a green address bar. Okay, so what is uh, SSL? We talked about that and how does it look like? I use these two pictures to show uh, generally when you have the SSL certification already applied and issued, what it will look like. Uh, for the left part, I will show this uh, in a browser demo. And for the right part, uh, you can open the, actually it's, and I said before, certification is typically a data file. You can just open it and uh, see the content, but it's usually uh, encrypted. So, honestly, how can the certification being applied and being issued? And the process is quite simple. And definitely you need to firstly uh, fulfill uh, most of the very important information about yourself, like your organization, uh, to contain the, all the details then submit to some uh, certification authentication uh, organization. And they, they are the third party uh, organization to make sure they can uh, uh, stand in the middle and to verify the details uh, information of your organization. Then, when everything was done, they make sure that uh, you just claim what you, who you are and uh, what you are doing and why you want this. And they will issue you the certification uh, finally. Um, when you have your certification, uh, how can you use it? Usually we need to apply the certification to our web server, right? To turn the normal web server, HTTP server to a HTTPS server. Uh, the process is uh, just like I shown in this picture. It takes uh, several steps to finish the uh, handshake. So for the first step, usually we, we want to establish a security uh, connection. Uh, the browser will request the server identify, identify itself by sending a copy of the SSL certification to the browser. And the browser checks the certification to ensure that uh, this is definitely assigned by a trusted uh, CA, then uh, the certification is not expired or being uh, revoked. That is uh, confirms to require security standards on uh, key lands and other items. If all the information are uh, checked and verified, then the domain uh, listed on the certification should match the domain that is shown uh, requested by the user. Then the third step will be when the uh, brother uh, confirms that the website can be trusted. It creates a symmetric session key which it encrypts with a public key uh, in the website certificate. The session key is then sent to the web server. 
the web server uses its private key uh, to decrypt the symmetric session key. Uh, file, uh, step five is like the server then send back uh, acknowledge that is encrypted uh, with the session key. So from now on, uh, for the last step, the SSL certification is established and all the data transmitted between the server and the browser and encrypt with the uh, uh, session key and now all the communication is secured. Okay, we talked about what is uh, SSL and how it works between the browser and the server. Um, in Alibaba Cloud, what do we sell? Uh, we not, we're not selling every type of the uh, certification. We now majorly uh, serving two kinds of the certification. The first one we call the OV. It's uh, short for the organization validation. And another one is EV. Uh, EV is a short for extended validation. Um, from this picture, you can say definitely EV may be the highest level of the security of your certification validation. And it also give you uh, some browser will support the feature like they will give you a very uh, significant green uh, address bar uh, to show the difference uh, between the EV and the other certificate. Okay, now this picture shows how the different certificate uh, working for the different uh, contacts and what's the major uh, feature they have. Uh, starting from the uh, very basic uh, version, we call them the domain validation. Uh, this is quite a simple one and usually this, uh, you just, you just uh, need to verify your own website and the DV is usually require that you can clarify that you are the owner of your uh, domain and usually the DV only support one domain name validation. And for OV, the organization validation, uh, usually we, we are using them to uh, verify some e-commerce website, uh, some kind of the gaming website, and it's uh, the, the, the say organization will give you a, a more uh, kind of a strict uh, validation. And the last one, and we just uh, talked about in last page, is the, the extended validation. Uh, usually uh, it's more expensive, definitely, and you can use it to more uh, secure and uh, you know more more critical uh, context based uh, business like uh, financial, uh, like uh, stock those kind of uh, business. Uh, so the audition of the organization is very uh, critical and also it ensure it follows EV guidance. Um, okay, so now you know the difference between the different kind of certificate uh, based on your business needs, based on your. Uh, contacts, uh, so you, you can decide which kind of uh, certification you want to buy. And this showing the page uh, you will find on the Alibaba Cloud portal. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do a demo uh, to show you uh, what it looks like and how can you buy a certification very easily on Alibaba Cloud portal. Okay, now let's go to uh, the portal to see some demo on how uh, can we uh, purchase uh, SSL certificate from uh, Alibaba Cloud. Uh, and I just said, if your website is already certified, you know, uh, got, got some certification, uh, you, the browser will try to validate it. And it is, if everything was checked and it shows okay, and they will show uh, some kind of uh, symbol on the browser uh, address page, uh, address bar, and then you can see there's a lock here. And it, this is um, a Safari browser. A different browser maybe have the different style to show the certification. And you can click here and show some details. Um, from the details, you can um, I can drag this. You can always see uh, the organization information, uh, who we are, and also another very important thing is the public key information. Right. For the certification, they do have the public key because everyone can use the public key to encrypt their data and uh, the data will be only be decrypted by, uh, by the server. Also, uh, they show the public key and give the, uh, every browser capability that they can use the uh, public key to decrypt the, the uh, certification uh, which is passing by, uh, by the uh, server. So the browser has a, has a chance to 
decrypt the same file and verify the content. Now let's log into the uh, Alibaba Cloud Portal and see uh, where and how we can buy the certification. Okay. Uh, from the left portal, or you, portal uh, panel, or you can go to the products list. Uh, from the we call them a security here, right? SSL certification. Uh, we have different regions you can pick up. Um, it's not too much difference uh, to me. Uh, you can pick any of them, and you can just go to the buy now. Uh, you see here is a page, right? Uh, and I said for the OV, um, you have several choices like uh, how much domains you want to cover, maybe single, multi, or wild, wild card domain. Uh, the, based on the choice, uh, the price will be different, right? And for the EV, uh, we don't uh, suppose the wild card uh, domain name, we only have the single domain and the multi domain uh, uh, selection. So from here, you can always uh, choose uh, the best uh, suitable uh, certification uh, for your organization. And you, when you have it, you can install it uh, into your web server to turn your web server uh, into a HTTP, so HTTP enabled uh, website. Uh, in today's course, we talked about what is SSL. And when you have one SSL certificate uh, issued, um, what will happening after you install it into your web server and how the key was actually uh, exchanged between the web browser and web server and finally they can uh, set up the secure communication. And we show the demo uh, on the Alibaba Cloud Portal and how can you uh, very easily pick up uh, the different type of the configuration of the combination of the SSL and to fit your business needs. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have more interest to our Alibaba products, especially the certification products, uh, please go to the following link and you will have uh, more rich information from there. Thank you all. Thank you for watching.